reproduction in fungi fungi may reproduce through vegetative asexual or sexual way as far as vegetative reproduction is concerned it may be the fragmentation fragmentation is the condition in which the hyphae of fungi can produce complete mycelium on breakage after breaking each segment or fragment of the hyphae develops into the new mycelium or the vegetative reproduction may be due to the death of the older parts some of the older parts of the fungi may decompose and the remaining parts develop into the new mycelium budding small outgrowth appears on the mother cells get separated and develop into the new individuals a small outgrowth or bud like structure appear on the surface of some yeast after get separate from the mother plant the bud develops into the new individual asexual reproduction in fungi asexual reproduction takes place through the spore formation and it takes place during the favorable conditions the spores are thick walled and resistant and following different types of spores are produced in the fungi endospores the spores that are produced inside the sporangia are called as endospores and on their liberation and further germination they produce the new mycelium conidia conidia are the naked spores naked spores means they do not present inside the sporangium and they usually produced on the tips of specialized hyphae called as conidiophores the terminal end of the conidiophore divides into large number of small rounded spores that are called as conidia spores may be the chlamydospores when the vegetative cells become thick walled vegetative cells become thick walled and behave as spores <coughs> these spores are called as chlamydospores arthrospores arth means joints arthrospores or oidia oidia if the hyphae break up into individual cell and each individual cell act as a spore these spores are called as arthrospores zoospores as the name indicates these are the motile spores and they have the flagella and they are present in some aquatic fungi and zoospores very rare in the fungi and aplanospores and non motile spores of the aquatic fungi are called as the aplanospores so these are different types of the spores that are produced during the asexual reproduction of the fungi such as endospores conidia chlamydospores arthrospores zoospores and the aplanospores sexual reproduction in the sexual reproduction gametes are produced and fused with each other to form the zygote and following three three phases are very important for the sexual reproduction in fungi such as one of them is the plasmogamy plasmogamy fusion of the cytoplasm of the two gametes or gametangia or hyphae is called as the plasmogamy and the second phase is the karyogamy it is the fusion of two haploid nuclei fusion of the two haploid nuclei and formation of the diploid zygotic nucleus is called as the karyogamy and the third phase which is the meiosis in the diploid zygote the nucleus divides to produce haploid spore sometimes that germinate to produce the new haploid mycelium the events may be of different kinds depending upon the size shape and motility of the gametes it may be the isogamy iso means same and gamy means gametes if the two fusing gametes are similar in size and as well as in mobility if two gametes not only similar in size but they are also motile the condition is called as the isogamy and it mostly takes place in the lower aquatic fungi and some terrestrial fungi they produce motile gametes or inside the gametangia and they fuse to form the zygote in an isogamy type of the reproduction the gametes are morphologically dissimilar morphologically dissimilar means their sizes are different smaller gametes is called as the microgamete and the larger gamete is called as macrogamete they fuse to form the zygote in the oogamy the two gametangia are different in sizes 
and shape as well gametangia are also different gametangia the gamete producing organs are called as gametangia and the smaller gametangium is called as the anthridium or male gametangium whereas the larger one is called as the female gametangium and the technical name of the female gametangium is the oogonium the fungi on the basis of the presence or absence of anthridium marrow oogonium is called as homothallic the thallus or the plant having both if the both sex organs are present on the same thallus condition is called as homothallic it means anthridium and oogonium both are present on the same thallus of the fungi or it may be the heterothallic if both the sex organs are present on different thalli in case of heterothallic hyphae may be the positive strain type or a negative strain type and two gametangia they come close to each other the contents of the anthridium always transfer to the oogonium oogonium the contents of the male gametangia always transfer to the female gametangium oogonium through a specialized pore or by a fertilization tube the contents of anthridium may be the uninucleate or multinucleate in multinucleate condition only one of the nucleus may transfer to the female gametangium or oogonium all rest of the nuclei may disintegrate the contents of the oogonium is called as oosphere this type of plasmogamy is called as oogamy or heterogamy